All right. I want to start by giving all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rikakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles, the great millstone. Salutations to the elect out there, wherever you may be. All right. I want to do a quick lesson. The topic of this lesson is giving thanks to the Lord, whose name is Yahweh. And I just want to do a quick lesson, giving thanks to the God of my fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, for delivering me out of situations, you know, when I thought that there was nothing, you know, when I thought, when I thought that there was no hope, he showed me and he showed me that, to, that he is the true God, that he is the, the power, that all the gods of the nations are idols, but he, he, but it is he that made the heavens. All right. So I want to just start. I'm going to start at uh, this scripture. I'm going to start with this scripture right here in uh, 2 Samuel 22 and 50. All right, it says, Therefore I will give thanks unto, the, unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and I will sing praises unto thy name. You see? And right now we're among the heathen. And I'm talking about you so-called blacks, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the, the true Israelites. Right now we're among the heathen. So what should, we, what should we, we be doing? We should be giving praises. We should be giving thanks to the Most High because this, because this captivity could be worse. It could be like how it was during the slavery during slavery times, where we were treated like literal dogs, you know, in times past, treated like animals, horses, cattle. It could be like those times again. That's why we should be giving thanks to thanks and uh. Singing praise unto the Most High. You see? All right, let's get another scripture. All right, this is First Chronicles 16 and 8. It says, Give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people. And that's what you should do when you're seeking the Most High. You should make known his deeds among the people. You see? Let them know that if they don't repent, they're going to be judged. Because the Lord is a great king over all the earth. Like a precept says, his judgments are righteous. You see? All right, let's get another scripture. Let's get a few more. All right, this is, uh, again, in First Chronicles 16. This is uh, uh, 16, verse 34. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endure forever. You see? And that goes into what? The sheer mercies of David. You see? That's the elect. That's the ones who he's who he's really with. Those are the ones that's really seeking the most high. The ones that's seeking his face. Because the two-thirds, they're not seeking the most high. They're going to be destroyed with their thermonuclear fire eventually. It's coming. And a lot of them are just going to be put to death, you know, because the most high is going to be tired of them. All right, let's see. All right. Uh, this is uh, First Chronicles sixteen thirty five. The next verse it says, "And say ye, save us, O Yahweh of our salvation, and gather us together and deliver us from the heat from the heathen." You see, and he is eventually when he sends his son, you know, to save us. When Yahweh comes back, he's going to save us among the heathen. The Most High is going to send a savior, like the Scripture says. Who he gave as a prince and a savior to give repentance unto Israel and forgiveness of sins. You see? So he's going to send his son and save us from among the heathen. All right, let's keep reading. That we may give thanks to thy holy name and glorify and glory in thy praise. You see? And that's coming. That we can fully give thanks to the Most High and glorify in his praise. Because he's going to, he's going to accomplish, he's going to fulfill his, his words. You see? But you should be giving thanks to him now and don't stop, you know, because he is the only power out here, the only true God, the God of Israel. All right, let's get some more verses. Uh, let's see a good one. Um, just want to get a few. This is going to be a quick lesson. All right, this is uh, Psalms. 6 verse 5 it says for in death there is no remembrance of thee in the grave who shall give thee thanks you see and that's why you praise the lord with all your strength 
Because what? You can never go far enough. You see? And you praise him while you're alive. While you have breath. Let every creature that have breath praise the Lord. All right, let's see. All right, Psalms 18 and 49. Therefore, I will give thanks unto thee, O Yahweh, among the heathen, and sing pray. I just read that one. And sing praises unto thy name. Did I just read that one? Among the heathen. I think I did. Yeah, it, yeah, okay. It was quoted. All right. That was a precept to, yeah, Second Samuel 22 and 50. It's the same scripture. Well, it's yeah, written similar. Similar. That's what King David was quoting from. From among the heathen. Right. Yeah. Yes, yeah, because King David, he knew the scriptures. Indeed. All right, let's get some more scriptures. All right, that was Psalms 18 and 49. All right, this is Psalms 30 and 4. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and the saints of the Israelites. All right, give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness, you see? That's why we need to remember what he did in times of old, how he saved us from the Egyptians, how he delivered us from the hands of our enemies, and he brought them and, and, and made them, you know, subject unto us. We ruled in times past. All right. Let's get another scripture. All right, this is Psalms 30 and 12. It says, To the end that my glory may sing praise to thee and not be silent. That's right. You don't be silent when you praise the Most High. You make his deeds known among the people. All right. You let them know the God of Israel has done this, not, not Satan by himself. The Most High uses Satan, the God of Israel. You give him glory. He don't give his glory to, to any other. All right, let's see. Oh, Yahweh, my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever, you see? And that's what the elect are going to do. We're going to give thanks unto the Most High forever, you see? All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai. All right, this is Psalms 35 and 18. I will give thee thanks in the, congreg in the great congregation. I will praise thee among much people. You see? Much people. What congregation is that? The congregation of Israel. And much people, the Israelites. Because Israel shall be as great as the saint. I'm, I'm, I don't want to butcher it. <laughs> it's a verse that says, Though thy people be as the as the be numbered as the sand. I think it says a, no, no, I think it says this. Though thy people be as the sand of the sea which cannot be measured or numbered. Right. So Israel is a large multitude. It's much people. You see? And we're going to be praising them among the heathen because they're going to see that their gods are fake and our God is real. You see? And a lot of them, they're going to be glad because the righteous are going to be in authority. Because the scripture says when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. And when the wicked bears rule, the people mourn, you see. So these heathens, even these heathens, they're going to be happy. That the, the manifestation of the sons of God is going to be made manifest. All right, let's, let's get a few more. All right, this is Psalm 75 and 1. It says, to the chief musician of the chin, a psalm or song of Asaph. Unto thee, O God, or O Yahweh, do we give thanks. Unto thee, do we give thanks, for that thy name is near thy wondrous works. Let's read it again. For thy name, for that thy name is near thy wondrous works declared. You see, for the Most High, He's known for His wonder, wondrous, wondrous works, which He's going to. One of his works that he's going to do real soon, he's going to save us from the land of our captivity. It's going to be a strange work because people, people are not going to understand what's going on. But he's going to be saving Israel. He's going to be delivering us from the hand of our enemies and them that hate us. Well, the Israel of God, but the two-thirds, they're going to be cut off the wicked of Israel. 
because there's a scripture in the in the Bible that says, "Among my people are found wicked men." You see. All right, let's get one more scripture. All right, let's see. All right, this is a good one. I'm gonna end off here. It says, "Some." Well, this is Psalm 79 and 13. It says, "We will." It says, "So we, thy people, the Israelites, the sheep of thy pasture, will give thee thanks forever." That's right. We will show forth thy praise to all generations. You see, all generations will know the, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You see. All right. I'm going to end the lesson here. All praises to Yahweh, Baha'i Shem, Yahweh, Baha'i Shem, Kakadash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. All right. All nations from generation to generation shall know that the God of Israel is the true and living power and there is none else. Because all the gods of these nations are idols. They was made they were made with the with the work of man's hands. The Lord wasn't. Alright. Shalom.